Hey guys, welcome back to another pick a card reading. Today's reading is on who your secret admirer is. Ooh, just in time for Valentine's Day. I want you to choose one or multiple of these piles here. We have pile one, two, three, and four. Feel free to pause this video for a moment if you need some time to meditate on which of these piles you feel the most drawn to. And then once you've decided, you can fast forward to the timestamp in the description box below. So yeah, I'm super excited. Thanks for watching, guys. And without further ado, we will start with pile one. Hey, pile one, welcome to your reading for all of you who chose this gorgeous blue crystal. Let's get into these cards and see who your secret admirer is. Okay, so we have the Five of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Princess of Cups. Okay, so who is this? This is someone who might seem a bit mean on the outside. Maybe this is someone who's been mean to you in the past. Or, I don't know, they put up this harsher exterior so you won't know that they like you. This seems to be someone... They can be a bit immature in love, okay? I think this person actually has a super big crush on you because we have the Queen of Cups, Princess of Cups. They have feelings for you, okay? This is much deeper than a superficial crush. Maybe this person has crushed on you for a while. I just see them throwing shade at you, literally. <laughs> this person is probably teased you. They've tried to throw you off the track or the trail. They don't want you to know that they like you. So they've probably been mean to you, teased you, maybe they've pranked you. But this is someone who you probably don't know, that you have no idea that they like you. They hide it so well. They also kind of hide behind their career too with the Ten of Pentacles. Um, maybe this person really likes dogs here. You can see the dogs <laughs> in that image. So yeah, this person is very guarded and protective over their feelings. I feel like this person doesn't want to make the first move. If they were to go out with you in the future, I mean, obviously they, they want to. <laughs> they have a huge crush on you. They would want you to make the first move or to ask them out, if that makes sense, okay? Another thing that I notice are the crowns that we have um, in the Queen of Cups and the Princess of Cups. So maybe this person views you as their queen. They could also view themselves in a very regal way they they might carry themselves with regality they think very highly of themselves they also think pretty highly of you maybe you go, you had to debate this person in school or something and they were pretty nasty but you won or i don't know they have honest respect for you they they think that you are just as capable as they are they see you as their match all right I'm going to shuffle some more cards. But so far, this person, they seem, they can be very mean. And I think that they, I don't know. It's not like they are this way to everyone, of course. I think it's only you. And you're like, why does this person, it seems unjust almost. Why is this person targeting me or singling me out? That is a sign that this is your person. If you notice that kind of behavior. All right, so we have the unseen. Too much is hidden from you. Yes, of course. This person hides so well. They are exactly <laughs> this image. Maybe they have a darker personality um, beneath the surface that not a lot of people know about. Yeah, this person could be into the cults or maybe they like horror movies. 
they do have a darker persona that they keep on the low. The thing is, this person is very nice to animals. They do, that is a strong message. I just keep looking back at the dogs. This person probably has dogs. I'm not getting cats. I mean, if they are a big animal person, they they like dogs, okay? <laughs> and then we have Atlantis. It says, rapid development, excellence, success. Yeah, success is extremely important to this person. Um... I was picking up on that earlier with the Ten of Pentacles. This person places a lot of importance on their work and their career. They might have a high-paying job or a job that commands a lot of respect and authority, specifically like a police officer, a firefighter. Maybe they work in politics too. They could do some political work as well. They have a very sharp mind. This person, as I said earlier, they are very good in debates. They know how to turn the tables on people. And they can use that as their weapon. As I said, this person can be nasty if they choose to be. But especially if it's in defense of their feelings and they're <laughs> trying to hide their crush. Okay, let's see. I'm sorry if you can hear that. It's a plane. If you haven't figured out, I, I live very close to an airport. Okay, pile. <laughs> pile one. These are way too many cards here. Okay, pile one. Who is your secret admirer? Maybe this person has bangs. I feel like <laughs> that is a random message. Um... I get the feeling, though, that they have some feature that they hide behind in a way or that is striking in a sharp way, especially if these are shorter bangs. If this is a man, I could see s some shaved, you know, the, like that military haircut where you have the shaved sides, something like that, like spiky hair. I'm picking up on sharpness in this person's physical appearance. Oh my gosh, we have the drunk with love card. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this person has a huge crush on you. This is not just anything superficial or temporary. As I said, it's probably been going on for a while now. And you would never know. That's the funny thing with this person. You would never know that they like you, that they actually seriously like you. This isn't just a crush. This could actually be love. You fascinate them in a way because I, th I think that a lot of people bend their will or I don't know. This person is used to getting their way with people and having other people bend to them most of the time, but you aren't, okay? You are a perfect match for this person in a way. Yeah, and they... They are passionate about this, this person. I think there is a natural um, attraction going on here uh, on both sides. I think physically there there is a chemistry here or it could be a mental chemistry. As I said, you are on their level mentally. You can go there if, <laughs> if you are in a debate with this person or just in general. Okay, balanced life. Love seeks your well-being. Health is a huge thing for this person. They might work out a lot, take out some of their energy at the gym, or maybe they play a sport, like a combat sport. Uh, I don't know. This person, they can be aggressive. They have that tendency, but they make sure to... I mean, aside from this crush and deep emotions that they have beneath the surface, they do make a point of expressing themselves in a healthy way, possibly with a sport. Um, but this card, I usually think of as having to do with health. 
So this person, they watch what they eat. Maybe they're vegan or they live some kind of uh, lifestyle where they have restrictions on their health. Like they won't eat fast food or they don't eat meat, perhaps. Maybe they don't drink. It could also be that. There's some kind of choice that they make with their health and their life that is prominent. You would probably know that about this person. Okay. Okay, let's get you guys some romance angel cards here. Pal one. Who's your secret admirer? Ooh, okay, passion. Yes. I'm not surprised, especially because we have this drunk with love card. This person is very passionate. Not just about you, but with everything in life. This person can be a sore loser. They get very invested. They have this obsessive nature when it comes to getting what they want and going after the object of their desire, right? They also want to sweep you off your feet. I, This person fantasizes about the moment when you realize just how deep their feelings are for you. And they want that moment to also be reciprocated. And for you to also admit that you liked them too, you know? This person wants to win you over. They see you as that ultimate game you know, they do kind of view love and things in life as a game in that way. And that's why they're competitive. They can definitely be harsh at times, right? But I also feel like that's why they're generally successful and why their career plays such an important <laughs> role in their life as well. Okay, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, this person has trouble communicating their feelings already, let alone um, deep feelings relating to love or their crush, right? <laughs> Maybe this person purposely avoids you or avoids talking to you. They kind of tense up, and, and I think this mechanism... It's a defense mechanism of theirs to beat you up or to pretend that they don't like you purposely to mask their true intentions. So they have a hard time being honest <laughs> with you, right? And I think they just avoid, they avoid you, I think. Or if they don't, they avoid having these deep conversations with you, obviously. This is kind of sexy though. I feel like there is chemistry between the two of you and that makes this person extra determined to want you to reciprocate this in turn because I feel like it's not just you. They also want you to love them back, you know? This person does not take no for an answer. Okay, I am gonna roll the Astro Dice to see what their energies are like. You might know this person from work. Maybe you had to work with them on a project and, is, and this was that circumstance that was very difficult. You've encountered this person in a more professional setting. That's what I'm getting. It could also be school but I get that this crush has been going on for a while. That's given time for these feelings to build up. So you've probably been around them for, you know, at least a couple years, perhaps, okay? So probably at work, maybe school. They could also be part of a club if you are like a member of a club, if it's church. It could also be something like that as well, okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, pile one. Who's your secret admirer? Oh, right. So, yes, yeah, so we have second house, Cancer, and Mars. Interesting. Honestly, I'm not surprised. Mars is the planet of passion, sex drive, desire. 
this person, as I said, they can be aggressive, they are a go-getter, they go after what they want. And regardless of their gender, I, I see this person as just having a more masculine drive to them and wanting to be the person in charge, okay? They, they like to be on top, all right? <laughs> and then we have Cancer. Ooh, yeah, this person is good at hiding their emotions, okay? They, they do have emotions. They have a lot of emotions. And I also think of Cancer as being represented by the crab. This person is very guarded. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it because Cancers, um, I think they do that to hide or to protect their, their soft center. So this person has, they probably have some Cancer in their chart or some strong water. And they have that tendency to retreat back into their shell and specifically when they're around you this mars it comes out and they can they can be mean right as i said but it's a defense mechanism and then we have second house this person places importance on material things material status uh they do like to impress you with their career their knowledge um the second house i think of assets this person they have a lot of assets and strong values this person can be stubborn about that too i think you know this person again through some kind of setting that involves a similar shared value so as i said it could be church it could be through an organization a club through school, work, something more public and less personal for sure, okay? So yeah, I will leave this reading here for now. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it resonated. If it did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys later. Hey, Pile 2, welcome to your reading. Let's dive right into it and see who your secret admirer is. Okay, we'll start off with your tarot. So we have the Eight of Cups, the Six of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Knight of Wands. Okay, so maybe this person has just gotten out of a relationship or breakup. They've recently left something behind. Maybe they're new to your area and this was a physical move. There is something kind of refreshing about this person. They have an interesting quality. With the Seven of Cups, I see that they have a lot of options. Maybe this person, um, they have a huge list of potential crushes. You're definitely on that list. I think that this person has raised the bar for themselves. They have very high standards for themselves and for who they would date, and I think that they keep narrowing down that list and you keep fitting into all their requirements so this person because we go from the eight to the seven so i see this as kind of them narrowing down their list of potential crushes because i think this person they kind of have a lot of loose crushes okay and they might be bisexual they they have their eye on a lot of different people <laughs> potentially right and you're definitely high up on that list okay you're you're given more priority over other people for sure and i think it's that this person um as i said i think they've recently gotten out of a relationship some kind of breakup and they're at a crossroads emotionally where they're trying to decide should i even get into a relationship do i want that do i not and that's the thing this person doesn't really know what they want right now and i think that's why they're trying to keep their options open with a lot of different people potentially okay 
Yeah, I just see the Six of Pentacles as them weighing out their options, narrowing down their list here. This person is very flirty, and I think that's also why they like you. They like that they can, they feel that they can be flirty and fun with you and keep things light. They see you as a really good candidate. This person seems like a friend, a loose friend. They are pretty fun. They see you as fun. And I think you genuinely like this person, okay? You are familiar with them. They're not too unknown to you. And vice versa. There's a mutual likeness for one another. This person is playful. They are fun. <laughs> the Knight of Wands here. They're creative. They have some kind of hobby or interest that they like to talk about a lot. Or maybe they post a lot <laughs> on their Instagram or on Snapchat. If they do pottery, if they're into gardening, they post a lot about that. Or they like to talk about that. <laughs> and especially if you are here for that or you also have that interest, they really like you, okay? You probably know that they're interested in you. This person isn't really secretive or trying to hide that. <laughs> I see them as kind of, you know, looking at you and being like, have you got it yet? I mean, how clear do I need to make this? So yeah, they've probably approached you or given you, dropped you some subtle hints. Maybe they dropped in your DMs. I don't know why, but I just heard the word geometry. Maybe that's a message. This person could be really good at math. Maybe they've done your homework for you or they like teaching you stuff. They like um, helping you out with stuff. That could be a message. Yeah, this person likes being helpful to you. They do seem like they could be good at math, though. I don't know why, but <laughs> for some reason, that is such a strong message. And I think it's also with the scales here. They they can divide things up, add or subtract different things from that scale. Yeah, okay. Let's get some more cards for you guys. Ooh. All right, Honor the Masculine says respecting men, embracing the masculine divine. This person has a, a pretty proud, freeing energy. As I mentioned, the feel of this pile when I first started was that this person feels refreshing to you. There's something new about them. Maybe you did just meet them or something, or I don't know, recently they became interested in you. <laughs> but yeah, when I look at this card, I see freedom, I see power. This person is playful. They they have a strong masculine, freedom-loving energy. Okay. Tatsu. Your secret admirer. The present, yeah. It says gift, treasure, revelation of own value, nowness. Yeah, this person, there's something current about them as well. Maybe they're really caught up on trends, on TikTok. This person, social media seems like a big thing to them. But also, on a more basic level, they do live in the present. They live for the now and here. Oh, I just saw the key here hanging from her arm and thought that they want the key to your heart. This person is a traditional romantic, so... Obviously, they like you and they're going to go about asking you out or making it known to you that they like you in a very sweet, traditional way. For instance, if they draw, they'll draw you a picture like Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> but they want to earn this key to your heart, okay? They will give you gestures, gifts. That's a message right here, gifts. Um, it could also be the key to their heart. They're offering that to you, okay? I think that this person does have some water in their chart. They can be very reflective. Um, their moods can shift depending on the day, who they're around, what's going on. 
at home <laughs> in their home life. This person is very knowledgeable as well. I also see the Seven of Cups as them being in touch with different skills or different knowledgeable facts from a lot of areas, okay? They do make a good student, but I think that they're very turned on by your receptivity to them. I think that you are especially nice to them for some reason. Maybe you are also interested in them <laughs> or you don't dislike this person, okay? As I said, you are friendly to this person when you don't have to be, okay? <laughs> All right, pile two. Okay. How many cards is this? All right, so we have a few. I feel like I should keep that though. All right, so fine wine. Longing is the portal to wholeness. So yeah, this person would want to wait and create something of value with you. They do like more long-term relationships and commitments. Um, I think that their life has been chaotic or unstable, so they really long for that foundation, all right? And then we have make friends. Friendship is the alchemy of success. So yeah, this person is a friend of yours. Uh, they're not like a close, close friend, but they're a good friend. They're someone who, I don't know, you might text once every couple of weeks or uh, I don't know. If you run into this person, you won't be shy. I'll just say that. They get the impression that you like them as a friend but also that you <laughs> might be willing to make something more of it, possibly, okay? And then we have union of love. It says, embrace the beloved within your heart. Oh, Yeah, this person is so sweet. For some reason, I'm getting these boho patterns on this card as this person being hip or hippie. Maybe they have an odd fashion sense. <laughs> they could be into really ugly clothes or I don't know. Maybe they make their own clothes and this person sews and that's also their sideline hobby that they're really into. Could also be that. Maybe they've made you clothes <laughs> or um, yeah, I don't know. Something about this card is really pointing to their fashion and aesthetic sense. I know this person has a lot of potential options on their list, but I f feel like this person, they don't really, um, like, they can have superficial crushes, but they do take love seriously, and as I said, they see you as such a perfect candidate for them, because they genuinely like spending time with you, and they think that that's mutual because you guys are already such good friends that um, they're thinking, why not be in a relationship? If it's fun to be friends with this person, why not? Why wouldn't it be fun, fun to actually be with them? That's kind of their mentality going on. <laughs> All right, so the last thing I'm going to do, oh my gosh, we have chemistry. <laughs> There's a strong magnetic attraction here. All right, I think this pile, there is, as I said, I think it might be mutual. I mean, even if you don't have a crush on this person or like them back, you do enjoy their company. That is a strong message that you genuinely are here for them, here for their energy, and are willing to be there in the long term as a good friend of theirs, okay? So let's see, let's get some romance angels, pile two. All right, so we have passion, interesting. I think the last group got passion as well. I feel like this person, when they're around you, they feel like they can be themselves. You kind of ignite that passion inside of them for them to be honest, live honestly and authentic. And I think that's why 
yeah, this person just truly feels like they can be themselves around you. Um, you light them up. All right, and we also have playfulness. Yeah, that is absolutely <laughs> the vibe here. This person is playful. They don't take life too seriously. Obviously, if they fall in love, they do fall deeply. They are passionate. But they do like that lightness, that flirty banter going back and forth. Um, there is something youthful about them in that way. But overall, this person is very fun, witty, extroverted. They are outgoing. They like having a good time. Another message, strangely enough, is that this person likes to wear white. For some reason, I don't know what it is. Maybe it's these feathers and this white gown. But there's something flowy about their personality. And also, again, with what they wear. Why is that coming through so strongly? Their, their fashion style. Um, they could wear flowy white things. White is a big color in their arsenal. But also, I think it's just that this person is childlike and they have that innocent energy that's very fun, sometimes immature, but also simple, okay? All right, so the last thing I will do is roll the astro dice just to get any last clues as to who this person is. Alright, so we have Moon, ninth house, and Libra. Ooh, I love that. Libra. Libra is flirty. Libra is ruled by Venus, and it's all about relationships. It makes sense, because I think you guys get along so well already and make such good friends that this person, they naturally will make that jump in their mind to, oh, this would be a good person to be in a relationship with. We just naturally get along well, and they they believe that a relationship should start with being friends, okay? Ninth house is all about long distance travel. Actually, that was a message, I think. That was something that I said in the beginning of the reading that this person perhaps could have moved here recently. There is something refreshing about them. They offer a new perspective. Uh, they, they could be from somewhere else, literally, in the world. Uh from a different country or different part of the country. But yeah, they are adventurous, they're fun and refreshing to you. And then moon. The moon is sweet. As I said, this person, they are a sweetheart. They, you know this is them because they will make little gestures, little subtle hints here and there that they like you. They will make you stuff. Maybe they'll bake you stuff. Uh, they like giving you gifts, okay? That's a strong uh, part of their love language. That's how you know this is your person. <laughs> they've gifted you anything that comes from the heart or uh, that they've made personally for you, okay? So yeah, these are the main things I am seeing for this pile. I hope this is helpful. I will leave it here for now. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it made sense and resonated. If it did, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys later. Hey Pile 3, welcome to your reading for all of you who chose this gorgeous Amatrine. This is your reading. All right, let's start off with your tarot and see who your secret admirer is. Okay, so we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Princess of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Magician. Okay, a message that just came through very clear is that this person is cool or there's something cool and hip about them. Maybe you guys have a similar music taste or music could be important to this person. I mean, I just feel that rhythm. Maybe this person plays an instrument. Uh, they could sing specifically like guitar or drums. Those are coming through for this person. Yeah, they're really into music. 
This, this is a very shy person. I don't actually think that you know them that well. Maybe you don't know them at all. And they kind of watch you from afar. Uh, this person, they have their eyes on you though. They see you as above them in a way. Maybe they just don't think that they're on their on your level quite yet. But that's weird though, because I, I just strongly sense that this person, they have a cool energy just by themselves. They could be a movie buff as well. Maybe there's certain movies that they are really about. Yeah, I don't really feel like you know them that well. If they're a girl, they could be really into dresses. Or if you're a girl, maybe they really like you in dresses. <laughs> I don't know. There's something about dresses here that's very romantic and traditional. Um, we do have a lot of pentacles here. So this person probably is an earth sign or they have some prominent earth in their chart. And earth tends to be traditional and straightforward in love. So I am picking up on that. I think this person probably has blue eyes. There's something blue Maybe they just like wearing blue or that's their favorite color. They do like wearing hats a lot. <laughs> that's something strong in their aesthetic. I think that this person, they, they haven't approached you. Uh, they might never approach you. Um, this is a crush that they have in secret. I mean, this is, seriously, this is a true secret admirer. You might not know who they are at all. Or maybe you've never met them formally, but you've seen them from a distance. They've seen you from a distance, so you can recognize this person if you were to see them, but you don't really know anything about them. And they're very shy. They're a sensitive soul, and they prefer to hide in the background <laughs> um, and not really be noticed, okay? So this person blends in pretty well. They could be a babysitter, a dog sitter. There's something very nurturing about them, and I think that is also part of their line of work, perhaps. Yeah, let's get you guys some more cards. There's something obscure about this person. Um, as I said, they prefer to... What's this? The mirror. They prefer to be on the down low, look at you from afar... The mirror, know thyself, self-examination, seeing who you really are. Yeah, this person, for some reason, they have trouble recognizing the good traits in themselves. As I said earlier, they don't really view themselves as ready or good enough to ask you out yet. <laughs> um, and they kind of prefer it that way. I think that this person, they don't like to be embarrassed. Uh, yeah. There's not a lot coming through for them, honestly, <laughs> other than that they're, they are very shy, uh, compassionate, sweet. Uh, they like music a lot. They're in their own little bubble most of the time. There are subtle hints here and there about things that this person likes, like dresses, hats, beats, music. But as I said, I don't think that you actually know this person, um, which is kind of creepy, but I mean, you might know them. You can recognize them probably out of a crowd, but you haven't formally met them and they haven't met you <laughs> either. You might have mutual friends, though, with this person. Uh, like, you know of each other through a mutual friend or group setting, okay? Ooh, divine sensuality, making love, erotica. Beautiful. I love how this is 22 and then 20, or no, wait, 22, 21. Um, there's a natural flow with this person, okay? You are their sexual fantasy for sure. That's what I think when I see this card. But also in general, this person seems to be sensual. There's a theme here in both of these cards of rose petals or bright pink flowers, okay? Ooh, yeah. And that 
just makes me think of love. That's such a symbol of romance, uh, sensuality, Venus. Maybe this person has a strong Venus in their chart. They are extremely romantic. As I said, you are their sexual fantasy. So if this person, for instance, if they have a thing for blondes and you are blonde, there you go, you know? And it could be, I don't know, it, it doesn't have to be hair color specifically, but physically you are exactly their type and they're extremely physically attracted to you. <laughs> You're such a turn on. And I think that's why they're also intimidated by you because I, I think that this person, I mean, they are shy and naturally introverted, but they are afraid to talk to you and to go up to you because they are worried that just looking at you will fuck up their speech or <laughs> what they're trying to say or just that they'll make a fool of themselves, okay? <laughs> so yeah, that is definitely why this person has not talked to you at all. I'm also sensing an age gap. This person could be younger than you or older than you. And that could also be why they don't want to approach you or why they see themselves as not being good enough for you or not what you would be looking for. This person really wants to ask you out. They want to ask you on a date to a dance or to the movies. That is coming through specifically. And that makes sense with the movies because as I said, I think this person is a movie buff. There are certain movies that they know really well. This person can be a bit of a nerd. <laughs> the glasses, maybe they wear glasses or turtlenecks and that's also part of their aesthetic. Yeah, this person, they are a bit of a nerd, but they're a cool nerd. I feel like this is someone who's cool, you know, regardless of how they see themselves in the mirror. Okay, let's get you guys some more cards. This seems like an interesting person. Um, they are a true secret admirer, though. As I said, you, you know, you wouldn't suspect necessarily that this is your person. Um, this one wants to come out. The Drunk With Love card. Yeah, this does make sense, though. There's, a, there's so much pink here. This person, they could be in love with you. They could genuinely have deeper feelings going on, which I think is probably the case. Um, as I said, that you are their sexual fantasy. They do fantasize about you, about what it would be like with you to date you, to call you their bae. <laughs> and then we have live in the moment. What you are looking for is with you. Ooh, okay. Maybe this person is your soulmate in some regard, not necessarily romantically, but I have a feeling like there is some kind of karmic business to sort out with this person in this lifetime. I mean, maybe you won't necessarily be in, the, in a relationship with them romantically, but you could be friends with this person and still teach each other stuff and sort out karma together. What's interesting about this person is that I'm not really picking up that much personal details on them as much as how they see you. And I think it's because of the mirror card, they ref they're <laughs> reflecting what they want back at them. And I'm only seeing what they are looking at versus them themselves, you know? Does that make sense? This is not really making that much sense to me. <laughs> this is a confusing person, okay? Maybe they have a crush on you, but another part of them is saying, is denying that. This person could be denying certain truths about themselves, or um, they could have other business that they have to sort out with themselves first perhaps before um, they can actually be in a relationship, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm going to pull you guys some romance angel cards. 
03. A secret admirer. Ooh, okay, we have two. Perfect. Oh, okay, so we have wedding and we have trust. It says this situation involves marriage. Okay, so yeah, this person is a traditionalist. Um, any relationship, they wouldn't be in a relationship unless they thought that they were going to marry that person genuinely, okay? And then trust. This person, they trust that someday they will be with you. <laughs> um, yeah, they kind of have this divine faith in fate and destiny and that you might be part of that, okay? The thing is, this person can't really make up their mind. I mean, are they in love with you or is this just a crush, okay? And I think that's what is confusing me about this pile. Definitely confusing them. <laughs> um, maybe you knew this person as a kid, perhaps, or you knew them in school and you are both adults now and it's, and you kind of forgot about them. This could be someone, someone from your past, okay? Pile three. And I think that's also why this person seems very mysterious and unknown because maybe you forgot about them or you didn't know them that well to begin with. So there is an air of mystery happening here. But I think that they genuinely, um, they could be in love with you, okay? They have more in mind down the road. I mean, we have wedding here, trust. They see you as the perfect marriage partner. You are exactly their type. And this person, if they aren't in love with you now, they could easily fall in love with you in the future. Okay, so the last thing I will do is roll the Astro Dice just to get any last minute info on who this person is. All right, so we have Cancer, Third House, and Jupiter. Beautiful. Okay, so Third House. Honestly, when I just said this, I heard in my mind Third Grade. I don't know. <laughs> you know that song? Um, when I was in the third grade, I thought that I was gay. That was just playing in my head. So again, music is a big thing for this person. Maybe they are gay, though. They could have been in the closet. That could also be a message um, that they aren't just secretive about having a crush on you, but that they are secretive about a whole side of themselves. It could also be that. Third grade, though, as I said, maybe they, maybe they knew you as a kid or you knew them, right? And it's been a while. Third house also deals with short distance travel, so I think this person lives in your area. They live close by to you. Um, maybe you've seen them or they've seen you <laughs> out and about, but you, again, you don't really know them formally. And then Cancer. Ooh, very sweet. This person is such a sweetheart. Maybe they're a Cancer. They have some strong Cancer. Cancer is all about the home the familiar. It makes us feel safe and secure, so that's very important to this person. They want something that will last forever. If they if they want a relationship at all, it's going to be that. <laughs> They're naturally nurturing. They are very sensitive and such a deep soul. They're extremely introverted and shy, okay? And definitely mysterious to you. You don't know much about them. And then lastly, Jupiter is about expansion, knowledge. As I said, this person could be a soulmate of yours. There might be some karma that you have yet to sort out with this person. Jupiter also deals with faith and spirituality. Yeah, this person is extremely spiritual. Um, they could be religious or charity and volunteer work is very important to them but yeah overall I would say this person you don't know them you don't know them well that is <laughs> you might have seen them in the past and just wondered who they were or um, maybe you know each other through a mutual acquaintance they are very mysterious to you you happen to be their exact 
type, you are their sexual fantasy, this person could fall in love with you, they might already be in love with you, they're very shy, extremely sensitive, and there is something kind of close about them, they might live close to you or perhaps you know you knew them in third grade. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. They definitely still have a lot of work to do on themselves before they're ready for a relationship. They think that they aren't really on your level or they're not good enough for you yet. So yeah, this person still has a lot of work to do in that arena. But they really like you and this could end up being your soulmate or someone who will be important to you in the future. Okay. I will leave this reading here for now. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it made sense. If you did like it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome, and I will see you guys later. Hey Pile 4, welcome to your reading for all of you who chose this beautiful aquamarine. This is your reading. Let's get into these cards and see who your secret admirer is. Okay, so we have the Fool, the High Priestess, okay, the Lovers, and the devil. Wow. All right. <laughs> Woo. Okay. There is something very fiery about this person. Kind of taboo, honestly, with the devil here. Maybe this this person could be in a relationship and that's the lovers um, and them having a crush on you from afar, but them you know, not really being available, or it could be that you're not available, okay? But there's something taboo about this person or about this crush that they have, which is super sexy. This person is wacky, okay? They might be a Gemini. There's some strong Gemini energy coming through. <laughs> the Lovers is associated with Gemini, but also when I look at the Fool, I see this two-parted hairstyle and the eye open, half-closed, and just think that this person has two sides, which is clearly Gemini. This person is a bit of a player. That is a message um, <laughs> that they play people. They can be manipulative. Uh, they've probably been in a lot of relationships, uh, or maybe not, but this person is kinky, okay? They definitely have a strong sexual energy. It's interesting that we have all major arcana cards. That tells me that this person is pretty significant, either in your life or in general. Uh, there could be some karma related to this person or some lessons to learn here. They are smart. They are knowledgeable. I see this book as a symbol of their knowledge an intellectual capacity. This person likes to text a lot, take a lot of photos. If you follow them on Instagram or on social media, they probably have a lot going on there. This person is very flirty. They do wear revealing things, especially if they are a girl, but in general, um, they like wearing things that accentuate their body that are very sexy. There's actually a lot coming through here about this person. <laughs> um, so they could be self-absorbed, okay? Um, I think that they are your secret admirer though because, I don't know, they have some kind of sexual fantasy going on with you. But also I think this person is a bit obsessed with you, <laughs> to be honest. The devil does deal with obsession and bad habits, right? So yeah, this person, I, I do think that they are obsessed with you. They are very attracted to you. You make them blush <laughs> whenever you, if you pay them a compliment or if they pay you a compliment. You guys have an, some kind of awkward moments happening where 
they wonder if it's obvious that they like you or not or I don't know they feel very vulnerable around you they do kind of tense up they they will flirt with you and make it happen but also at the same time of course they don't want to be rejected or make a fool of themselves literally the fool but they probably have regardless um had some embarrassing moments around you specifically maybe they tripped or just didn't have a flattering outfit perhaps something like that but this person it's it's kind of funny though this pile this person probably has a interesting sense of humor let's get some more cards for you guys see what else is coming through about this person Ooh. okay i will take it so we have atlantis what are these cards? Farewell to the moon and receptivity. Gorgeous. Okay. Yeah, this person is highly receptive because we have the high priestess here as well. Um, this person is very in tune with their intuition. They're good with people. As I said, this person can be manipulative in that way because they know how... Um, to get under people's skin, but also f finding out what drives people. This person makes a great psychologist, honestly. Farewell to the moon. This person could have a strong moon placement or a moon sign. Maybe they have a Scorpio or a Sag moon. Those are coming through strongly. I don't know why. Um, but also this person, there's kind of something seedy about them, okay? I'm not gonna lie. Maybe they do have some kind of addiction or unhealthy habits, <laughs> the devil card, going on in their life. They could come from a dis dysfunctional family. It could be their home life. There's something about them, though, that they do prefer to keep secret. But you can kind of sense, I mean, even if you're not close to this person, I think that you can still pick up on little subtle behaviors or actions of this person that seem that don't quite add up all right there is something odd about them in that way it could be their home life it could also just be them they could be a weirdo <laughs> they are very wacky kinky but extremely smart okay this person can be scary People like this person, okay? There is something about them that seems popular, um, charismatic. I don't really, like, they are extremely smart and probably successful in their career or professional life, but I feel like this Atlantis success comes from their interactions, their social interactions, essentially. Um, they're very good at winning people over, and getting what they want out of people. This person likes to sit next to you. That is something that I just heard. So if this is at school or if this is at work, this person physically likes to be around you. That is a big clue. <laughs> um, like they will sit next to you. If you have a lunch break, they will they will make it seem like it's by chance, you know? They're they're very good at playing up circumstances to their favor and making it seem like they didn't have a choice in the matter or like they had nothing to do with it, but it was it did come from their mind. <laughs> they did choose to take their lunch break or sit next to you, okay? at that same time, all right? Yeah, this person, <laughs> they might be invasive of your physical space or bordering on that at times. I think it's pretty clear you know who this is. If you don't know who this is, you have a pretty good idea and it's because they physically like being around you. They are in your bubble. <laughs> um, they have given you, you know, drop subtle hints that they have a thing for you or that you should spend more time with them. <laughs> Maybe this person has 
already asked you out or suggested that you hang out with them. But this person, I see that they, if they haven't made the first move yet, uh, they will very soon. Ooh, all right, what do we have? So we have Concealed Power and Live in the Moment, yes. This person, they take advantage of the moment, they kind of live in the moment they seize the day. They are an early bird. They wake up early, um, get breakfast started. They're good at prioritizing and managing tasks throughout the, their day. They have very good stamina and strength. They don't really get tired <laughs> because they wake up early and they get good night's sleep probably. And then concealed power. Give birth to the wonder of revelation. Ooh. This person can be dramatic. They do... I think this card is pretty obvious, though. This is a powerful person. They have a lot of social influence over others. They can be manipulative. They're good at pulling strings, pushing buttons, you name it, this person. Um, and I think that's kind of what's scary about them. They. This person doesn't really understand no or their own strength, okay? They don't really understand the power that they have, the extent to it, to which it can hurt others, and this person, nothing is really off limits with them. There are no boundaries. <laughs> there's there's no lows um, that they won't go to or steep to to get what they want or just in general, I think. So yeah, this person, they are extremely manipulative. They do have a softer side underneath and certain things that are dear to them. But most people just see their outer shell and are afraid of getting too close, okay? Yeah. Let's get you guys some Romance Angels cards. Pile four. Who's your secret admirer? Okay, so we have wedding. We also have make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Okay, so this person, whenever the wedding card comes out, there is some commitment happening here. Maybe this person wants a commitment with you. They could also already be in a relationship. Then maybe this person is married. Um, because that was such a strong message coming through at the beginning that this person is already off limits or that you are off limits. But the wedding card also gives me the sense that they would want something more long lasting with you. What's this one? Okay, free yourself. <laughs> um, free yourself from this person, maybe? I don't know. This person, they, there are some tendencies and bad habits that they have that they have yet to rid themselves of. I feel like this is someone who you should probably watch out for because if you get too close to them or too involved with them, things can get complicated or messy, okay? <laughs> or um, you might feel trapped, okay? There are a lot of complexities about this person and defense mechanisms that they have built up because of their childhood and the way that they've been treated in the past, I think. And this person is used to that. They're used to having to work to gain people's trust or to be successful right? So I think all that has resulted in this person overcompensating in multiple areas of their life. All right, so the last thing I will do is roll the Astro Dice just to get any last minute info on who this person is, your secret admirer. Five, four. Alright, so we have Aries, Sun, 5th house. Yes. 
this person, they have a strong personality, strong willpower. They could be self-absorbed. Aries and Sun, that is kind of that combo. They're also very fiery. The fifth house is the house of romance, love affairs. It's traditionally ruled by Leo. It's also associated with games and childhood, right? So this person, they are fun. They are flirty, especially with you, right? Um, but also I think that they're very physical. We have um, Aries here <laughs> in the sun. This is strong, fire, and passionate energy. If Aries wants something, they take it, right? I also just think that this person is very powerful in general with their career, with people, they have great influence in their sphere of work or with the people that they know, depending on how you know this person. Yeah, they have a very interesting energy. Definitely a strong ego, a strong willpower. There is something about them that is sexy though in that way, but also physically I think they're very drawn to you. They do have strong feelings and are very passionate about you and this crush that they have, okay? So yeah, I will leave this reading here for now. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it made sense. If you did like it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, comment, or subscribe. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I hope you guys are having a super amazing day. Stay awesome. And I will see you guys later.